farmer pays four thousand, that the farmer never sees what the government pays. Sure. They just get a bill from the insurance company that says so they don't know. Four thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. But it's definitely the. And if you didn't have crop insurance, there'd be a lot of big farmers who, every year, it's a gamble. And if they have a bad year, crop insurance covers their costs and their expenses. But if they didn't have the crop insurance, I think. Mm-hmm. And so, like, she's learning a lot about getting sued out here. <laughs> <laughs> Keep telling her that's the American way. Um, well, it's a shame. I mean, it's unfortunate that that is too common. And she's like, why don't you take your mushroom blocks once you're done growing? So I only grow my first crop, and then I, that's not worth it. It's a shelf space for me. And she's like, why don't you give us the homeless to donate it to somebody who needs it? And yeah, there's a whole bunch of li- liabilities associated with that. It starts growing mold. They get sick or something. They can sue me. I just... <laughs> This is your what? The baler. The hay the... baler, so the hay, they, they cut grass and they let it dry and then bale it into a nice little scoop. Mm-hmm. It weighs about 40 pounds. And mm-hmm. you stack that nice and haul it to mm-hmm. the that way. Okay. 